Hello tutorial enthusiasts and all those who happen to watch. Alright, so you're probably wondering right now what you're going to need to record with the PS3 to do capture devices. Now, a lot of people cannot afford HD high definition devices like myself at the moment. So they want to resort to an alternative that's going to look cl good, clear, and, you know, get the job done. And sounds going to really be really good. But, alright. First things you're going to need is a spare set of component cables. These, of course, are going to be the single three colors. Now, if you have one of those connectors or one of those devices that do have the, you know, those blue, green, and the, obviously, those other crazy colors, and has these additionally attached to it, which is like one of those combos that hooks up to the Wii, the 360, and the... Um, PS3, you're not going to need any spare component cables at all. As a matter of fact, you're not going to need these things either, which are the Y splitters, which are going to be for RCA. But, alright, so you're going to need these anyway if you do not have that. Now, the PS3 does come with its own AV cords, or its component cables, that are going to basically plug into your standard definition TV or your HD TV. It's not going to matter. As much but if you don't have any out on your TV you're definitely gonna need something like this for sure unless of course you have the luck of the gods and well that's sort of a hint towards my next review but all right first thing you're gonna need to do is obviously monitor what these are show you what they look like so that way you know what to grab now you're gonna need the Y splitters this is what they're gonna look like I'm gonna provide a link on the description below so you need to gonna have to tr click that little arrow button down there to obviously access the link because you know YouTube switched everything around so it's gonna be a little confusing for you. All right, you're gonna need this now. You're gonna match the colors with the Y component cable or the Y splitter rather. It's gonna be white, white, red, red, ye yellow, yellow. So you're gonna need to plug those into the corresponding the colors right here because once that's hooked up to your PlayStation and all that you should be all set now my PlayStation 3 is hooked up to a HD mode so I'm gonna show you how to switch to that if you don't know how so for all those who do not already know how to do all that crap just you know skip that this part of the video but alright this has to be hooked up to your TV so that way you know that you're getting the signal I'm sorry, hooked up to your TV as well as your computer, which is USB. That will be plugged into your thing. Don't worry about it. Your house won't explode. The cats won't run away from home. And baby Jesus will not come back and just pimp smack you. You should be all set. I swear. But, alright. I got a switch board here that switches between channels for the converter. So... I got these just for really, 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 really cheap price, so I didn't pay much at all. But, alright, next thing you're going to need is your controller here to access your menu, unless, of course, you have some special setup, then you do that accordingly. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is go into Display Settings. And now, after you're going to check the Video Output Settings, this is what you're going to need the most. Okay, you guys see the rest of these here, like no of those. I'm going to click this. It's going to give you a nice, sleek option here to change. So, we're going to want to switch to AV Multi scat, slash Scat, SCART, rather. I'm going to switch to the YPB CBPRCHCR 100 million 692, whatever. I'm going to click that. It will be displayed on the AV side of your TV. So if you have a settings for that for your HD or whatever TV you have. I mean, if you do have an HD TV, I'm sorry, a normal standard different edition TV, this will not even be applied to you. So try to, you know, fight through the pain. But. Okay. Wait for it to switch over. But, alright. You're going to have this. It's going to ask you. Just say yes. It's going to ask you 480p or standard STSC. 
uh, keep that. Do not switch that, because I found out if you switch to that down below, you will be in a world of hurt. But, alright. So I ask you what kind of TV side. Depending on what you have, you have a widescreen TV? Stay by 16 by 9. Because when you record with that, it's going to show in 16 and 9. That's going to be a good thing. Um, the other setting, too, is for smaller TVs, which is 4 by 3. And it's going to ask you confirm everything on the screen. You know, multi AV, multi SCART, blah, 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 blah. Going to want to go yes. Now, for audio settings, you're obviously going to want it to go to what you're connecting to, which is this. Hit hit X, enter. So now it's going to be a little bit blurry, but it is not going to matter on your end here because I'll have to show you here. You're going to have a program like Pinnacle Studio, which normally comes with the software, um, with the device, or you have to go out and buy it. I'm sorry, but you probably all torrent crap anyway, you thieves. Anyway. Educate while insult at the same time. Giggity. Anyway. So now you're going to notice on here. That's going to show the. Everything going on on my screen over here. It's going to look very sharp actually. It's not going to look amazing. But it's going to look super sharp. On this end. So when I move around. You're going to notice. Everything syncs up perfectly. You are going to have tiny little lag spikes every once in a while, but you initially get that almost with everything. Now, now there's also products that, that, of course, don't. they promise they don't do that. So, you can probably look for those if you're into that market and you have that little extra money than you're buying a pen Dazzle card. The Dazzle card works compatible 100% with its own device, but of course, being the pinnacle. Uh, products. So if you have a Pinnacle product like a um, Movie Maker that they have, or a Dazzle Ultimate Studio 11 or 12 or 13 or 14, you should be good to go out of the bat. But you're going to notice this is going to be a little bit glossy versus what you initially are used to. But you, again, I'm showing it that it's all synced up. And while you're recording, you'll be able to watch it on your screen, hear it on your screen. And be able to play it, no problem. So, you know, you hear the sound, you'll hear everything. It won't be as great definition as you would want it to personal, personally be. However, it will get the job done. You'll have a good product coming out of it. And I do warn people who record with this software or whatever, make sure if you do not want this, the, the footage to be too big. Because I do have like a gig, I'm sorry, like 100 gigs or so of space in my hard drive, so I'm not in the gr in the uh, red for that but if you have a low-end computer that's running all this stuff I've given you thumbs up for trying that amazing attempt but it's kinda on the edgy side of that you might have to switch the settings to how it's gonna come out as AV is the best you want to keep it as because it's gonna come out the best if you come in WMV format it's gonna look very glot like very grainy I mean it's gonna look decent but it's gonna look very grainy too so again I want to recite or review what you need here again. You're going to need some Y splitters for your Dazzle card, which you need to go buy this color, which is going to be like 45 bucks or so in New Egg. Don't worry though, I will provide links for each one of these products online through my comments, with a little obviously brief little summary of what the video is about. But again, if you're worried about switching out the, a the HD and the component cables, do not fear. The uh, PS3 for this example, which is what this, this is all going to be mainly for this lesson around, you can plug in your component and your HD at the same time. So you don't have to worry about switching out or doing that too much. So it's a good thing. But, alright. So with that said, um, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this helped you out. If you got any more questions, you were stumbled on something, you couldn't figure out what I was saying, because I know I do mumble a lot. Uh, please feel free to leave comments down below and I will answer them. I will get back to you as quickly as possible and um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. So take it easy folks. Thank you guys so much for watching.